I'm going to show you how to set up Photoshop to create storyboards. I get this question all the time. Hey Sergio, what tools do you use? What software do you use? And one of the tools that I go to all the time is Photoshop. It's probably the most universal. <clears throat> if you know Photoshop, you can apply the same rules to other programs. If I'm using somebody else's machine, they usually have Photoshop installed. But the one thing that I do use with Photoshop are a bunch of templates, a bunch of actions that I've created, and I have my set workspace and my palette. So let me show you what that is all about. Um, so when you open Photoshop, you probably have a bunch of stuff um, already. Let me just go to the action menu and I'll show you this. So you know you can move your toolbars around and everything, because I know when Photoshop fires up, this thing is usually off to the left. I'm right-handed, so I like this thing over here. It just feels natural for me to grab the tools and do whatever I need to do um, kind of on the right side. Okay, I'm using a Wacom Cintiq. I am using the latest version of Photoshop, Adobe CC. Uh, they have some new tweaks and tools on there, but uh, for the most part, most of the Photoshop versions are very, very similar. They've made some additions, but the basic fundamental working method of Photoshop is about the same. So let me create a new file. And I'll show you what, uh, what I've done. So uh, you'll notice in this action menus, now if you have if you never used actions before, actions are a way to create multiple step commands and record those so you can repeat them over and over. It's a super great time saver. Because, let me show you what I can do with this. Now I've created my own here that says Sergio Actions. I'll show you what these do in a second. And it's got the descriptions of every little step that's in there for Photoshop. But I usually put that up front and I go to button mode. Boom! And it gives me a bunch of buttons. This is great because I can go ahead and, um, and just with a click of these little buttons create new things. So let's see if this is gonna work. We're gonna pull up, um, how about we make gray background and boom, right away, I have a button to create a gray background and, um, and yeah, it's super easy. Another one I can do is, uh, let me do, yeah, let me do new layer 20%. So what this one does is it'll create a new layer and it creates, it pushes the previous layer to 20% opacity. Ding! So you notice that gray went down, that's over here, and that went down 20%. If I bring it back up to 100, that's great. So I use that for like drawing over stuff. So here, I'll, I'll show you what I mean by that. So I'll go ahead and click this. Um, let me go to some of my brushes. And okay, so here we go. I'm just gonna draw something, whatever, whatever. And then if I click this button, which is, um, well, let me show you this one. This one, I create a blue line, ding. It makes that blue, right? It makes what I drew blue. And then what I did is I created a new layer. Oh, drop my pen. I created a new layer on top of that. And now I can go ahead and draw and clean it up. So if I wanted to like, you know, clean up somebody, you know, whatever. If I'm drawing something, I can go ahead and clean this up and I can just take off the blue line before and I can do that as many times as I want. And I go ahead and do that. So I find that a way to like, it's a good way to clean up your drawings, okay? Um, that's always cool. So there's also undo, ding! I can do that and keep on going back into history. That's great. 20% um, uh, visibility, I can just make that a little bit uh, less opaque. Go back to 100%, that's always nice. Uh, undo, of course, new frame animation, I'll show you that in a second. So one of the other things I can do is I'll open up a new um, file, and I use a series of templates. So I, I've created a bunch of templates already. If you guys wanna use these templates, you can get this on storyboardart.org uh, in our pro artist guide section. And uh, so let's use this one. I like my two, three, five aspect ratio. So basically I created a template that has um, it has the frames and everything I need. I put even some notes. There's a mask on there. There's even a, the 16 by nine bars and the 16 by nine frame. So for example, if I did, if I did this, that's 16 by nine, and then the 235 box is yeah, within that. So let's use 235 <laughs> as the, um, as the aspect ratio here. So I can create a new layer and I go back to my drawing tools and whatever. You know, I can create um, 
squiggles, I don't know, trees, whatever. I'm just doodling, doodly, doodly, doodling. And there, I created a composition. So one thing that uh, I can do now, if you don't, if you've never used it before, I think this is a really cool addition to Photoshop, is you click this button down here. So this is in the windows, you wanna go to timeline, make sure that is checked on. You're gonna get this box here, I'll just take it off. And I'll show you what that is, timeline, bam! So that shows up and what I do is I, you can get two choices here to create a video timeline or create frame animation. I'll say create frame animation. So that creates like a snapshot in time for that frame and I can keep moving forward in the timeline in Photoshop. It's a fantastic way of working to create storyboards. So what I've done here with my actions is I create new animation frame and boom, I've created a new one, which is a new snapshot in time. And I've also, I can, I can do another action button here, which is new frame with layer. So um, this one, is not working all that great because I haven't drawn anything. So let's say I do this. Um, in fact, that's lame. Let, let me draw something for real. And really quickly, uh, guys, face, you know, whatever. Okay, and then I'll go new, new layer New frame with layer. So what that did was it created a new frame to, uh, to the right, essentially in my timeline, and I can go back and forth. And um, so it created a new frame in the timeline and it reduced the opacity of my previous frame. So this is a great way for me to work with like onion skin. So if I'm using that same character and what if he moves forward a little bit and changes his expression, so then then I can just like go ahead and draw like super quickly what that was. And, and then of course I can uh, remove this guy. So let's see if this will work. Yeah, we're back here. Let me remove this layer and here. So now I'm going back and forth and you can see I'm just creating some storyboards and then yeah, this is cool because then I can even, you know, have this guy going forward like that, right? So this is a way to create sequential art in Photoshop using some awesome actions that are already set up. Now, the other thing you want to do is once you get your workspace correct or somewhat lined up, because I got my brushes here on the side, I got my layers, which I use all the time, my swatches, this is another thing that I use, for example, let me, let me show you this. Uh, I'll do it on the same layer, who cares? This, I simplified my swatches, so the way that uh, Photoshop gives you like a default, they'll have a million colors that you can put up there. And you can also go into the little like color wheel and pick the ones you want. But I just use a series of grays, and that, that'll help me do some tones. So for example, going in here, if I wanna, wanna get this guy with some tones, I'll do, uh, yeah, I'll just, I'll just do a new layer, so right here. And normally I would like name these layers, right? But um, let me pop this out and you do something like this. So if I just wanted to create a, a tone for this guy and I'm drawing behind him, I can just really do that very quickly. Yeah. And then I go ahead and you know pick a different color, whatever, whatever, whatever. So I'm just kind of showing you this really fast. So the idea is that you create your workspace in the most efficient way so that you can be fast while you're doing this stuff, okay? Um, so how you do that, go to window, go to workspace, and I'm gonna go ahead and save this one and say new workspace. So workspace refers to the arrangement of your menus. And in fact, it gives you uh, the option here of what to do. I'll say, I wanna click on all this stuff and we'll call it Sergio Workspace uh, 01 because sometimes I'll end up doing multiple workspaces. So uh, let me just do that. And yep, save, boom. So that saves it to the Adobe uh, Photoshop uh, presets. So there you go. Hopefully that helped. If you guys want the actions, if you guys want the templates, go to storyboardart.org and uh, you can download that. We'll put the link in the video in the description of the video below so you can click directly and grab that stuff. All right, and for those of you who have super awesome Photoshop skills, 
please school me, tell me what I need to be doing, tell us all what we can do to improve our Photoshop. I know all of you guys have your awesome uh, brushes and your cool presets and that kind of thing. How about we share, all right? We can all improve and make our stuff better collectively. So go ahead and put a comment down below. All right, hope your Photoshop goes well. See ya.